Well, New York Times bestselling author Marianne Williamson introduces her new book, which offers an exciting mental approach to our financial mindset. Gabrielle Daddario talks with Marianne about the law of divine compensation on work, money, and miracles. Marianne Williamson is an internationally acclaimed author and lecturer whose previous books have been New York Times bestsellers. Her latest book, The Law of Divine Compensation, will likely end up there as well because of the fascinating way her writing style makes anything seem possible when you're talking about work, money, and miracles. Good morning, Marianne. We're about to talk about your new book, The Law of Divine Compensation. Hi, thank you for having me. What are the laws of divine compensation? The law of divine compensation is the idea that the universe is both self-organizing and self-correcting. So anytime that there is diminishment or lack on the material plane, within the realm of spiritual substance, there is more than enough power to compensate for the lack. So that which has been wounded shall be healed, that which has been limited shall be made unlimited. There is always the possibility of unlimited possibility. That's the law. The law is that the universe does know how to correct itself when we align ourselves with the thinking of the universe. So the subtitle of your book refers to work, money, and miracles. <clears throat> what does the divine law say about each of those? Well, it's a big one because within the circumstances of the mortal world, particularly at a time when there is a slowed down economy, it's very easy for us to be tempted into worldly thinking that things are bad and they're only gonna get worse, that there are only limited resources, that other people have it and I don't, that I can't pay my bills, and then you fall into I'm a failure, it won't be getting better, they'll never hire me, I'm too old, all of those thoughts that actually block the possibility of infinite possibility. So when you remember, no matter what's happening on the external plane, that your power and the source of all good and all abundance is on the internal planes, then you realize that in any given moment the universe is ready to begin again. If I see any relationship with anyone as an opportunity for me to rise to the occasion, to give love, to live in the present rather than the past or the future, then literally miracles happen and you begin to see that issues like forgiveness are not unrelated to issues like work and career because unforgiveness blocks the heart and wherever the heart is open the miracle will happen no matter what the circumstance or the situation in our lives. What does it mean that we're either blaming ourselves or blessing ourselves? Well, that's kind of obvious when you look at how we think about ourselves and other people. Every thought is either a thought of love or a thought of fear. Every thought is a thought of blessing you see the good in people, you are kind to people, you are merciful to people, including yourself. We all make mistakes, and other people make mistakes, and we make mistakes. But the decision that each of us makes is, am I going to focus on their mistake, or am I going to focus on who they are in this moment? Am I going to focus on my mistakes from the past, or who I am in this moment? It's all where I choose to focus, and if I choose to focus on innocence in myself and others, rather than I got it wrong, or they got it wrong, or they're so bad, or I was so bad, then once again, we attract the miracle, and that is the law of divine compensation. Open your heart, and the universe will open for you. The Law of Divine Compensation is out now and can be found on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Plus, you can catch one of Marianne's spiritually led lectures if you're going to be in the LA area. Just visit www.marianne.com to find a date and location close to you. Bringing you the best of California, I'm Gabrielle D'Addario for California Life.